Hey Rick fans and welcome back to the Rick Bakery where all our jokes are half baked. I'm Jacob and today it's time for Let's Build and Review. Today we are having a look at the 6401 Seaside Cabana which is a set from 1992 that consists of 36 parts and 2 minifigs. The 6401 Seaside Cabana is part of the Paradisa theme and the Paradisa theme ran from 1992 to 1997. It's mainly focused around leisure activities and includes such stuff as beaches, surfing and horseback riding. But without further ado, let's have a look at this little set. And here's the manual for this little build, a wonderful little manual with a very, very colorful front here, very nice pinkish sunset sky right here in the background. It's a very nice clear blue water, almost looks like something out of the Caribbean. I don't know if they've used some kind of construction paper or just colored regular paper to make this, but it does look interesting. And someday I might start doing something like this for my reviews, but until then we'll just have to enjoy this. An interesting detail about this is this little Thing up here which I believe is some sort of point system where you can gather points to earn some kind of credit on buying other Lego sets. And on the back of that we got the Paradisa logo which is kind of neat but without further ado let's get into the build. First off, I'd like to show you this. For some reason, I've sorted a light bluish gray brick into this set. Now, light bluish gray isn't period accurate, whereas a brownish gray would be that. And luckily, I've got a big bag of more period accurate pieces. And we've got it right here. These pieces I've found in different hauls, and you can check out those haul videos on my channel as well. But here we can clearly see the difference between the newer, um, the newer light gray and the older light gray. It has a brownish hue. If you look up the Paradisa sets on Wikipedia, you'll see that the Paradisa sets were the first ones to introduce this light pink and also a darker pink and the lime green color. So this, this is all new in 1992. Even though the Paradisa theme ran for approximately five years, I've actually only got two of these sets. I reviewed the bigger poolside paradise set a while ago, and you can check that out in this video right up here. set. It consists of three smaller builds, this main patio thing right here, the small jet ski or scooter or whatever it is, and a windsurfing board. And the first thing I notice is how much the designers has actually gotten out of 36 pieces. Three small builds from 36 pieces is kind of good, I think. And I'm also noticing how this whole build could actually look like something out of the pirate theme as well. These arches and the greens here and the small parrot as well really, really makes it seem like something out of the pirate theme. Then again, this is a beach set and the pirate themes are usually inspired by Caribbean pirates. So that does make some kind of sense. But let's have a look at each little build by themselves. The main build is undoubtedly this seating area right here. I don't know what to call it, a patio, a terrace, something like that, or maybe just a beach seating area. It's got some very nice pieces. There are these chairs and fences and this little cup in pink. And as I said just before, these colors were brand new 
for this Paradisa theme. What really gives the build its character are these arches right here, which look very, very good. I think these really give a sense of something Spanish, maybe Caribbean. And that's why I think I'm thinking of pirates and the pirates theme. What's interesting about those arches is the fact that all throughout my childhood, I'm actually pretty sure that I built this one wrong. As is visible here on the back, these arches are sitting on the front part of these one by five pillars right here. I'm pretty sure I, throughout my childhood, put this pillar one stunt back and had them sitting on the back one. So I'm not sure I've actually seen it like this before. But I got to admit, I really like it like this. It gives it a very, very cozy feeling that you're sitting sort of inside and underneath one of these arches. That looks very, very neat indeed. And what really brings this set home for me is this parasol right here. This is the proverbial dot of the eye to me. I really think this gives it an essence of vacation and holiday. And those new lime green and pink colors look great. And I think this is a great example of doing more with less. There's very, very few pieces in this and it's very, very effective. And then of course there is the jet ski or water scooter or whatever we can call this one. It is very, very simple in its design. And what really gives this some character is this little printed piece here. I really like this palm on an island. Other than that, there isn't too much to say about this little side build here. It's got this antenna piece for control and of course some of these round pieces down here to ease movement across a surface. And once again I have the pleasure of presenting the result of displaying your Lego in the sun for too long. This brick here is apparently discolored by sunlight and that is one of the reasons why you shouldn't leave your bricks out in the sun for too long. And then lastly, there's this windsurfing board, which is a 90s classic. This sale only ever appeared in three sets. Of course, all sets in the Paradisa line. So this is kind of unique. The board in itself has a couple of studs down here to attach your minifigs. And underneath, there's actually these slides right here, which allows you to place this on a studded surface. And of course, there's also the two minifigs. According to Wikipedia, the Paradisa theme had an abundance of female figures and also introduced brand new parts to construct female minifigures. This included these ponytail hair pieces and these particular face prints. The female figure has a very, very nice printing and I'm very, very, very impressed how sharp it really is, even though this is a 90s print. As a standard for 90s minifigures, there's no printing on the back for this figure. Even though the male character has some very, very classic pieces that has been used extensively in other sets, this particular combination of pieces is only in this particular set. He's got this life-preserving vest and underneath he's got this very neat striped bathing suit. The Life Preserver is a Lego classic and I don't know how many I've got of these. There was a focus on piers and harbors in the 1990s in the town sets for instance and that meant you had a lot of these vests right here. Very neat little piece. Once again I am amazed about the clarity and sharpness of the print. This mustachioid face print is great and the clarity of the yellow here on the white surface is very very well done. And as his female counterpart this figure doesn't have a back printing either. And let's not forget this classic character right here. This parrot is wonderful. I always loved these red, green, and yellow parrots. And even though they were mostly in the pirate sets, they also appeared in these Paradisa sets. It's a classic piece of Lego and I really, really like it. All in all, I am very impressed by the complexity of this build, even though it only has 36 pieces. This set enables a lot of possibilities for play because it has 
three, count them, three sub builds. That is impressive for only 36 pieces. Now, of course, some of these pieces are pretty big and that helps out a lot, but I do think the designers did really well with this one. I particularly like how green, white, pink and grey go together very, very well and underlines each other in a wonderful way to create a very, very daring and iconic color scheme for this theme. And what I particularly like the theme for is that it introduced some of those iconic colors. Lime green, dark pink and light pink. That was the 6401 Seaside Cabana, which is a set from the Paradisa line that I really, really like. And I like it both because it's pretty cool and that the designers did a good job with very few pieces, but also because this is the theme that introduced some of the most iconic colors, namely pink and lime green, and some very, very, very nice pieces for the female minifigures. That is very, very cool. But what do you think? Do you like this theme? Do you like this set? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to hear all about it. But that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like and subscribe and I hope we'll see you guys next Monday.